Hello friends, Fedora Linux 38 was finally released in a lot of different flavors. As usual, you can choose between Workstation, Server, IoT, Cloud and CoreOS. Uh, jump on my website and download it now. Super easy, you choose uh, the, type of, mm, the type of media and uh, you are ready to go. So for Intel system, choose this one, for uh, ARM system is this one and PowerPC is this one. You can also create your own media using Fedora Media Writer. But now, let's move it on. Welcome to my Mac desktop. Just for reference, I'm using the latest version of macOS Ventura, but it's the same procedure in all the distribution. I'm using a virtualization system, in this case VMware Fusion, but the process is similar also with uh, parallel or other virtualization system. So, first things, okay, this is the VMware Fusion, this is the exact version if you want to take a look, but it's the latest available at the moment. So, long story short, I already downloaded the ISO image for my Fedora 38, so let me hit uh, create a new virtual machine and let me select uh, the installation from ISO. Uh, okay, let me select the folder where I downloaded the file, this is nearly 2 gigabytes, so it depends the connection, the, the, the connection speed. Uh, you can go straight away to finish or, like me, customize some setting, for example, where to save the image. In my case, uh, I already have a Fedora 64-bit ARM, so let me add Fedora 38, and what else? Oh, well, I could customize the resources, for example, let me double the processor, and the memory I think will be okay, 2 gig will be okay for just a initial setup of Fedora 48 uh, Workstation Edition. So mm, you just need to start the setup and as you can see it's booted from a C virtual CD-ROM. Let me choose to start Fedora 48. This is a live CD so you will be able also to use actually the system live from your uh, from your system. So just a couple of minutes, I just need to speed boot up, detect the hardware, this is a standard configuration of VMware and Fedora, so nothing fancy, and uh, it will be ready to go. We can use the environment straight away in a live distribution or, as I want it, install the system in my virtual machine. So every time I don't need to redo all the process, I can directly uh, interact with the system. So let's choose uh, to install Fedora and the wizard is going to start. This is a completely um, uh, guided process. As you can see, uh, now there are some questions that we need to reply. And uh, for example, the first is the type of uh, look, uh, the type of language that we need for the system. In my case, I choose English, US. And there are two things that I would like to customize. First of all, is the time zone. Uh, I really like having my system. You can choose the region and the city, or like me, jump directly to etc. and use and using the um, universal time clock. This is perfect because it's going to use the Greenwich time zone all the time without uh, any adjustment for daylight. Um, let me choose also how to partition the disk. In this case, let me uh, maintain the automatic and start the begin the, to begin the installation. This process is going to take a while, depending by the speed of your current system, by the uh, networking, if you need to download some packages. In this case, I completely download, uh, I completely use everything from the CD-ROM, so there is no latency at all for downloading the packages. However, the system still needs to install the packages, decompress it, and make it live. This is going to take a while, and actually is the most long part of the installation. We almost finished. As you can see, the progress bar is not uh, so accurate and actually is spending more time on the initial phases. And as I selected a standard installation, so no further action are required, rather than install the packages and actually download the workstation. 
After this, we are ready to go, just need to create a user and we can explore the system. So uh, I'm already nearly finished the installation. As you can see, the progress bar is getting faster and faster and now it's completed. We can hit the reboot installation button and we are ready to go. If a machine doesn't reboot automatically, we just need to jump on the uh, right uh, button, the one with the power symbol, and we need to <coughs> basically hit and uh, reboot the system. Everything is super intuitive and I don't think it's going to take uh, a while. So let me show you, as you can see, I hit the power button and restart. Okay, now the virtual machine is actually restarting and this time the boot will not happen from the CD-ROM but actually will happen from the virtual disk. So I'm expecting to be faster actually because uh, uh, it's customized exactly from the environment where we need it. Okay, cool. Welcome to Fedora Linux 38 edition. Cool. Uh, there is a uh, the initial setup, as I said before, just need to set up the users and we are good to go. Oh, let me, let's do it together. So let me specify if we need a location service and uh, uh, problem solving. Let's, uh, yes, I really like to give it enable, also enable third party repository for some uh, virtual codec and this kind of stuff. Let me set it up a user, in my case, uh, the username will be Luca and let me set it a decent standard password as you can see is uh, in the average I'm not using like a common fast phrase I'm using also some numbers with a general habits okay so once everything is done the system is ready so we can move to the authentication system this is will be the first screen and we can take a look on the new UI this is the latest release of GNOME and as you can see there are plenty on enhancement it looks like uh, very similar to the previous release the Fedora 37 actually but is an, I think it's a nice and very convenient way of managing the application so we are ready to go yes it's done we successfully installed Fedora 38 Linux inside a virtual machine on a MacBook with ARM processor. The installation will be similar also for uh, if we need uh, for the Intel version. So let me jump to the setting and we can check it out the current version of the operating system using the settings and about. Let me magnify and as you can see it is written Fedora Linux 38 Workstation Edition. It is also specified the OS type 64 gig, gig, bit uh, GNOME version 44 using Wayland as a Windows system and I think uh, as usual you can jump directly to all the applications that we need for example this is a terminal as you can see I can for example cut uh, slash etc slash OS release and is ready to go so it's not lagging at all and I think it's very good performance because this is optimized for this processor always use the right version for your system so here we are great we did